Welcome back folks. So as you can see, we currently still don't have any snow and yeah, it's looking like our ice season is going to be somewhat late. I wanted to talk about my last um, ice fishing video that I just did, that I put out. I filmed it last year at the end of the season. I made a little bit of a mistake. Not a big one, just a little one. Well, I guess technically it could be considered a big one depending the way you look at it. But when I was talking in the video, I had the right the idea, the right idea in my head, but I didn't, the right words weren't coming out of my mouth. So I figured today I'm just going for a little hike here back of the bush, a little morning hike like I usually do. And I figured it'd be a good opportunity to kind of talk about high pressure and low pressure walleye and how it all works. One guy commented, and thank you for commenting on it, that he was confused because he thought the opposite, which it exactly was. I was talking about, I was saying low pressure walleye in the video, like a low pressure system had come in and it was the total opposite. It technically, it is a high pressure system. So I just wanted to clarify that just so people, you know, didn't think I was some dummy trying to think he knows what he's talking about. Although sometimes you think you do know what you're talking about and maybe you don't or the fish tell you otherwise. But from my experience, this is exactly what I wanted to talk about today and clarify it all so that I'm not putting wrong information out there. As for the people who viewed the videos, holy crap, I did never think it's over 4,000 at this current moment and wow. Just, wow, pretty insane. So we're gonna go on this hike and I'm gonna talk about low and high pressure walleye and how the pressure affects walleye. Maybe I'll put some pictures and stuff like that. Or maybe I'll just talk about it. But anyway, more just like a little bit of a blog, seeming as our ace season is coming, is coming in extremely slowly. But anyway, I digress. I will talk to you guys in a minute. So, first off, what's a high pressure system? It's, it's a, a system that comes from the north, generally, and it's usually a, like a cold front. It comes down and it usually brings, it'll bring like clear skies, kind of sunnier weather. In the winter time, it usually, it usually has a cold front. Um, in the summertime, it brings like hot weather. We're gonna try and relate this mostly to our winter season, not so much the the summer, but basically in the winter time for us, it comes from the north. It brings really cold weather. It's like an Arctic blast basically from the north. With that cold front comes a ton of pressure. Um, our skies will generally be much more open. It'll be sunny, very inviting, however, very frigid. With all this beautiful looking weather comes this high pressure which in turn puts pressure on the fish's air bladder. So by doing that it the, the fish become very lethargic and not very hungry. They will eat but like you've seen in that video which I'll put right here um, they they can be very tough to get to bite. You gotta present it to them just perfectly, just the right way, or they're not coming for it. The fishing conditions on a general note will be mid to low. Generally, the fish will be sitting low. They won't be sitting very high in the water column because of the pressure from the, the atmos, the atmos, bleh, the atmospheric pressure will be pushing them down, which will make it harder for them to float higher in the mid in the water column. 
That's what generally a high pressure system means. <clears throat> now, as for a low pressure system, what will happen is it brings warmer weather, clouds, uh, storm clouds. Generally, the fishing will be much better. Uh, there'll be less pressure on the on the fish's gut. They will be sitting. They may still be sitting on the bottom, but on a general note, they will be sitting mid column kind of thing or they might be rising if it's like trout stuff like that and there's activity they may be they may be rising normal pressure the fish the fishing will be more stable it'll be a better across the board so you'll be running into much more stable weather conditions you know it'll be decent days out stuff like that and the fishing overall should be a fairly good experience normal atmospheric pressure will be around 29.7. Anything above that is considered high pressure or rising. Anything below that would be considered low pressure or falling pressure. So as for falling pressure, this is generally going to be your better bite time. It's going to be your better window where the fish are going to be putting some feed on right before a storm is coming in and they feel it, they know it, they know what's going to happen. I mean, it might be a little, it's a little bit different come for ice fishing season, but for open water, you will notice that there will be like bug hatches happening sometimes right before or even during it, like I've been on the river, I've had bug hatches happening while it's raining on me, which is actually really cool. As for ice fishing. Okay, so I just wanted to add something that I didn't put in the video when I was taking it. Um, kinda, I was rambling and I forgot something. So I just wanted to add it and finishing up here. So what happens when you're at that point when in the ice season and you're going from high to low pressure is the pressure in the high system is putting pressure on their air bladders, which in turn doesn't prevent them, but hinders them from being able to float better. Uh, when it's coming from that low pressure, when it's going to that low pressure system falling, like I'm talking about here, um, what happens is the fish is air bladder starts to open again because it's got less pressure on it. The fish gets a little bit more hungry and the fishing activity will pick up. Sometimes it may take a day or two, but that is generally the rule of kind of how it works. So usually after a high pressure system, give it a day or two and usually the fishing will be much better. Okay, sorry, just wanted to put that in there so I had all the facts in there that I possibly know. Anyway, back to the video. Thank you. When you're going from that normal pressure system and you have a high pressure system moving in, um, you will start to find the fish lower and the feeding activity will be, it'll be okay. So it might not be great. Depending on the, like, the area that you're in, it may be better. Uh, but the fish will still be hanging low because they have, they're feeling that pressure build up and push them down. This is no exact science. This is uh, one from somewhat of trial and error, and it is also from days out on the water and noticing the difference between the systems and actually trying to pay attention to it. It's something I would recommend you all do. Um, go out, go in a low pressure system, go out on a high pressure system, go out when it's normal and it's just your average weather that's happening. Um, go test it all out and then Go see how the fishing is. If you know a spot where the fishing is generally a good spot, it's a great way to test it out. Go to that spot, go in a low pressure system, test it out for yourself. Try it out, see if it works. It might, it might not. Um, generally, it does. <laughs> I wouldn't be saying it if it didn't really work, but I do want to apologize for on the video where I was explaining low and high, I was sort of trying to explain low and high pressure system or what we were coming off of. Um, but I mixed up the words. What I said works, um, it's effective. However, my wording was wrong. So 
from me to you guys, I, uh, I want to apologize for that. Um, and I thought I'd just throw out a video because I am actually heading out to, to attempt an ice fishing video this weekend. But uh, we will see if I am successful at finding some safe ice. There's probably some places, but we're going to a spot where there definitely should be enough safe ice for us to fish. But anyway, if you guys like this, uh, give a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next episode of Adventure Time Fishing and Hunting. Anyway, ciao.